Am I the only person that can think rationally around here? Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. I woke up, I watched the keynote, the hype, etc, etc. And like, I usually don't release videos on Tuesdays and I don't... This isn't even like my type of content, but like... The uh... All the media outlets and the the hype is like is everyone stupid? Like what? Like like I actually got so annoyed that I got out of bed to make the video. Let's let's start from the top here. Uh, keynote happens. He releases the thirty eighty thirty ninety. It's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. Uh, everyone's like in the numbers they see. Everything's fine. Um, okay, then he gets to the benchmarks, and then he posts his graphs, and he, cl he clearly focusing on RT performance, which is what we expected. Uh, the 3080 should have about two times the 2080 Ti ray tracing performance. No surprises here, it's all good. Then the thing that most people missed was at the beginning of the slide, it said two times rasterization performance what then i was like okay let, let let's let's wait till the keynote's over let's let's just hang on a second we we all know the nvidia marketing kool-aid it, it tastes good it tastes really good i, I want to drink some of that stuff so that's fine the keynote's over he says uh available september or whatever that's fine okay Next thing, they update the NVIDIA website. So obviously we do a little bit of digging. Um, and to my surprise and everybody else's surprise, the CUDA core numbers are all doubled over what the leak said. Let me bring it up here actually. All right, check this out here. We're gonna go down RT core, blah, 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 whatever, don't care, don't care, don't care. Actually, Wait, was it? Where was it here? The RTX green screen thing, whatever. That's it. This is, this actually looks really cool. I'm excited for this, but um, whatever. We're, we're not paying attention to this right now. Uh, whatever. Okay. What the hell is this? NVIDIA CUDA cores. They, they, what the hell is this here? 8704 divided by 2. Oh, what, what what do you what do you know? 2080 Ti CUDA cores. Oh. Wait a minute. That that doesn't seem right. What's going on here? So, <laughs> how dumb is that? So then I see the CUDA core count numbers. I'm like, okay. Something does not add up here. The, my, the first thought that went into my head was, why was that Time Spy Extreme benchmark 8500 with 8,000 CUDA cores? It literally would have been double that. Like, like, like the, the 3D Mark benchmarks scale linearly with CUDA core count numbers with SLI. Those benchmarks are like designed to scale as far as you can push them for the end of time so we'll have rtx 5000 series and those benchmarks will continue to scale like that far out but like that's what they're designed for Eight thousand cores my ass and remember this this doesn't this has like nothing to do with frame chasers like this information doesn't uh help you get more fps at all in your games but People need to, like, you have to be smart about your purchasing, smart about your purchasing decisions. Uh, probably tell I haven't gotten any sleep. And you're purchasing the, sh oh my god, purchasing decisions affect what you can get for your frames. That's why I'm kind of making this content now. Anyway, let me get back into this. So, the second thing that happened, uh, first the critical account numbers, massive red flags. Second thing was, um... Digital Foundry got their hands on a card, uh, a 3080. So I'm not gonna bring their video up here. Uh, I'll bring up their their um, 
their benchmark vi video portion, but I don't want, I'm not going to bring up their faces or anything. I don't want them to DMCA my ass but um, and take my video down. But the first thing he says was it was an NVIDIA-sponsored content. Let that sink in for a second. Right away, that entire video gets thrown out the window. Uh, not, not, it's, ugh. the content isn't a lie, but the dude obviously bent over backwards and took it up the ass to get that card before everybody else did. That's, that's what Digital Foundry does. They get, they do as they're told to get this stuff before everybody else. But the, the information that they provide is still valuable. Um, so all the benchmarks that they picked out are cherry picked by Nvidia for a reason. Um, the cards that they benchmark against are cherry picked for a reason. Like you notice that in the rasterized portion of the benchmarks, he's comparing a regular 2080 to a 3080. And then the way he frames that is um, a generational leap. It's, it's not a lie. It's, 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 it's clever. It's, that's where it is clever. NVIDIA is clever. Then when they get to the ray tracing perform, um, the ray tracing part of the video, all of a sudden it's, oh, let's compare it to a 2080 Ti. What? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to benchmark the exact same games that guy did with his 3080 with my 2080 Ti. And I'm going to let you see what, what the difference is on for yourself. And hopefully it opens up your eyes a little bit. Maybe, maybe that CUDA core count number isn't, uh, isn't exactly what it's supposed to be. The next thing, uh, before we get to the benchmarks, the next thing that happened was I got 10 notifications of all these YouTube channels saying how amazing... The next gen cards are going to be. Are, are all these media outlets like dumb? Like what the hell? Because you, you can bet if NVIDIA put the exact same core count numbers as they had before. It wouldn't have been amazing. But if they double the numbers somehow through some marketing rigmarole. It's going to look amazing. And if they compare it against their last. Like it's it's brilliant. It's. But why does everybody always eat this up? It doesn't make it... Like, how is everyone so dumb? Anyway, okay. Benchmarks. You see it for yourself. Let's just see what happens. The one that, we, the one that we're paying attention to today, specifically, is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You'll notice that none of those other benchmarks in uh, the Digital Foundry video actually has an FPS number associated with it. It just has a percentage figure. So we have, you, you can't take your numbers and compare it to, the, those numbers could have been anything. We have no idea. But the Shadow of the Tomb Raider built-in benchmark has an FPS number in the top left corner. They even tried to hide that shit with, uh, with their, their branding on the top. Like you, you can cut, you, you can barely tell what the FPS is. Like I'm going to like, just watch like it, it is brilliant but like uh, i'm gonna put my i'm gonna put um i'll put their video on the left and i'll put mine on the right and i'm gonna sync them up so they're exactly the same so you can look at the fps numbers yourself and see what the hell the difference is fuck it this whole thing is just it's a it's brilliant brilliant Let, okay i'm gonna run it right now and then uh, you you can see that shit for yourself now shadow of the tomb raider this is an interesting one uh, as the benchmark is spread across three very different segments my overall performance lift from 2080 to 3080 comes in at 69.8 percent but in the moment increases in two of the three sections are mostly in the 70 to 75 percent range it's interesting to see the differential shift according to content but the third segment brings the two cards a touch closer together, anything from 62 to 72% faster in favor of the new 3080, which brings the overall average down a touch to that 69.8. It's, it's actually, 
Yeah, you know what? I, I bet that time spy number was an aftermarket AIB model. So it probably did clock higher. That's why I was 8,500. And the Founders Edition probably clocks lower. That's why it was less. But my card is almost 10% faster. How does a 2080 Ti with half the CUDA cores end up 10% faster? That should be physically impossible. I'm, I'm also not going to get into the whole Samsung 8 nanometer node thing either. Personally, I don't really care what node a product is on as long as it performs. I could give a shit. Um, it, it could be on TSMC 12 nanometer again for all I care as long as it's faster, right? But uh, in this in this circumstance, it is not faster. For for what we do, for, for, for regular gamers, for RT, maybe, for the AAA gamers... But if you're playing uh, Fortnite, you don't give a shit about RTX. If you're, if you're playing um, Call of Duty Warzone, you don't give a shit about RTX. You need the FPS. That's what we're here for. Like I said in that video, my actually my best video, like I said in that one, the only upgrade for 1080 Ti and 2080 Ti owners is the 3090. Sorry to say, guys, like... The 3080 is just a 2080 Ti. That's all it is it, with better RT. It's it's not twice as fast. It's not faster at all. It's the same shit. Like, you can literally see the numbers for yourself. Mine's faster because the clock's higher. Like, it's... Sorry. I, I, like, I'm sorry to bust everyone. I'll probably get, like, a million downvotes for this because I'm, I'm going against the hype train. But reality is reality, man. There was also a Twitter post. I don't know. I was watching. Um, I was watching not an Apple fan during his his uh, live stream, and uh, Scott Herc like someone posted on Twitter, and it was like, um, if these numbers are true, uh, AMD won't be able to compete. And then Scott Herkelman, like the director of uh, Nvidia Graphics Group or whatever, he was like, all he all he replied was. The emoji. That's it. He knew they're not any faster. They're, they're this, this is the same shit. Like, like the numbers aren't true. Like, like if the numbers are true, they won't compete. Well, the numbers aren't true, and they will be able to compete because it's it's look at this shit. It's hilarious. Like clearly, Scott Herkelman doing the thinking emoji knows that it's a massive hype train, and they can compete. Like. Anyway, on a side note, I hit 100 subscribers finally. Thank you to everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, I will do a separate thank you video for that with the giveaway and all that stuff. I I, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet because I want to make it fair. Uh, I got to do some research on that first. Plus, plus shipping to different countries and stuff. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. But I definitely will do one. Give me a little bit of time on that. Um... Yeah, but in terms of this video and my followers that are not idiots, I would assume. Um, yeah, this is, you've seen it for yourself now. The 3080 is just a 2080 Ti with bumped features. That's all it is. Like I said in my last video, you know what the best feeling in the world is? Being right. Okay, I think I covered everything here. Cuda core count numbers is a lie. Digital Foundry's video is marketing brilliance. Uh, but you can compare his Shadow of the Tomb Raider numbers with your own. Um, yeah. And the hype is all bullshit. And yeah. I'm still going to buy a 3090, don't get me wrong. But um, having seen these numbers, I don't have to buy a 3080 anymore. Like, I'll just... I'll just use other people's numbers because th this there's there's nothing here for me in the 3080. There's nothing here, um, but the 3090 I'm definitely gonna get. I know the 3090 is gonna actually have 5,000 real CUDA cores, so that will be an upgrade for me. But the 3080 is not an upgrade for Warzone and Overwatch and shit that I play, right? So it's whatever. Anyway, that should be it for this video. If I miss anything, comment down below and I'll get to it. Well, we can talk about it later. Um, I want to get this video, I don't even release videos on Tuesdays, but I have to get this out because this is just ridiculous. 
And uh, if you like the content, subscribe. I'm always gonna be a rational thinker. I'm always gonna be able to pick out things that are just dumb. But for some reason, 90% of the population can't can't figure it out. Like I, I guess I guess that's why people like me exist. But yeah, subscribe if you want to be in the know. I guess like, share, do all that YouTube SEO stuff. And I feel like you guys actually like this content. Um, because it actually brings some intelligence to an otherwise completely irrational and stupid market, right? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting now, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. See you later.